Hi guys, it's Tracy from Stampin' Away for, with Tracy, uh, and I've been showing videos about Christmas cards. Well, I got to thinking, you know, you're going to send out all these great gifts to everyone, and you're going to receive these great gifts, but, so I better post some ideas for some thank you cards. So that's what this one is. I'm going to show it up close. Got a little sparkle in there. You know, Wink Estella, you all know me. I love it. Okay, so what we're using is Pool Party ink and Coastal Cabana ink here. Okay, those are the two I chose. You can color combo any, any you want. This is just an example. Then we're using the stamps from Rooted in Nature. Um, this is in the large book, the, the yearly book. And also my sentiment is from Flourishing Phases, and that's also in the yearly book. So, this is the one I did. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very, very simple. This is like an, another five-minute card. Now, <clears throat> we're going to do the pool party for the base. And this one's oriented a little bit differently. I actually cut it at four and a quarter and then scored at five and a half. So two of these, of course, makes one sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. Now, my two bases, um, this is in Bermuda Bay. To give it just a little pop, you don't have to. If you're limited on your paper and you just have one, just you're, you'll be fine with just one and you could just layer it like this. But I wanted to add a second layer, and my dimensions for these two are three and three-fourths by five, and four by five and a half are these um, to layer on there. Okay, so we are going to start. This is just such a simple card. Um, and I'm going to start with the... Uh, Coastal Cabana, as I'm going to do with this larger leaf. I had to look at the color, couldn't remember. And you can really just stamp this anyway. There is no right or wrong to this um, card. Now, you could do all across the top, or you could do, I'm doing opposite corners. Look what I did to that. I don't think you're going to be able to tell that when I'm done, so let's see. And, um, just figuring out how to do that. Now, I'm going to take the large, large, smaller leaf and I'm going to use Pool Party. Now, remember, Pool Party is what our main um, cardstock is. So, this will blend these two together. And I just want to do it so you can see it. So, really, I'm just adding them in for interest. There's no right or wrong way to do that. So you see that? Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our sentiment. And it says, thank you so very much. So I thought this would be appropriate for sending thank you letters for all of your... Okay, I just used pool party. We're not going to do pool party because I really want this to stand out. So we're going to do Coastal Cabana. So I just cleaned my stamp really quick on my chamois. Um, another great thing Stampin' Up! has come up with is a chamois. Love, love, love the chamois. So, there we go. I want to make sure I get it oriented correctly. And I just, begin over here so the camera, put it in the corner there. It just helps me get it in line. And also, I always stamp standing up. I don't know if that's good for my posture or not, but that's what I do. So, now basically, if this is all of the supplies that you had was very vanilla, this is very vanilla, and this is um, soft sky. And if this is all that you had, this, got a little thing right there, and this is all that you had was these two, this would be a perfect card. That is a very cute card, absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, but I'm gonna layer just a little bit of color and I'm gonna show you. So if you wanna make this card, you're really done. When I say it's a three minute card, it's a three minute card. 
but I thought what we could do is just add a little pop to it. So I'm going to move my stamped in. Okay, so I'm going to take my Tombow, and this is Coastal Cabana, and the size of this is four by five and a half, and I'm just gonna add a little glue. You know, I like to get the corners. I can't, I don't like those corners to stand up. I don't know. So, get a little bit and make sure I get the corners good. Just adds a little, you just put a little bit of pressure and the glue comes out really easily. That's why I like to keep it upside down. And as I said, I always stand when I do this. I do so much better centering. This Tombow does give you just a little forgiveness. To move things if you need it if you need to move it okay now this is our image that we've stamped so we're going to put some Tombow on this just make sure we get the corners so they don't stick up so doesn't take a lot of Tombow um, Tombow actually go goes a long way. It's very economical. So we're going to put our second layer on here. So we're just going to center this. Scoot it over just a smudge. Okay. I don't know why I've got on that cord. Okay. Now, I really wanted to show you all that little embellishments go such a long way with cards. Now, I have my little embellishment tray and I was looking at what could we put on here and I have these that match. Now, this is a Stampin' Up! embellishment. They are so easy to work with, the Stampin' Up! embellishments are. These come with stickers already on them. See that? They're already on there. So the adhesive is already on the back. Fantastic. Because really, you just take it off and put it on. And it is so simple. Now, um, if you're on a limited budget, please always check the clearance rack of Stampin' Up! They have great embellishments on the clearance rack for just a few dollars. And when you get um, a few embellishments to put on your card, you can take that to a whole new level. Now, what I wanted was a little bit more pop. So, what I'm going to do with my Wink Estella is I'm just outlining the lighter leaves. Not all of them, just a few of them really quickly. Just giving them just a little shine. This is not necessary, but I just kind of liked it. I tried it. And um, it just gave a little bit of extra. Wink Estella is very economical. It lasts a very long time. So it is definitely something to put keep in your stash. So there you go. Look how simple this cute little card is. All right, got a little shine on there. We've got some embellishments. Thank you very much. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And I'm so grateful you spent some time with me today. Thank you all. Have a great day. Oh, I shouldn't forget. I shouldn't forget this. Be sure, and if you like this card, uh, push the like button so I know what you like and what you don't like. And if you want to be notified automatically of my videos, hit the su subscribe button. Below the video, I will have a link to my Stampin' Up! page, so click on it. Take a look around, see if there's something you really like. If you have any comments, just leave them for me, or you can go to my Facebook page, Stampin' Away with Tracy, and leave them there. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day.